What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Battlefield 5 and today I want to talk about the new unlockable weapon for the week for the challenges of course that is the P08 Carbine. Now this is a recon weapon and this definitely changes the way you can play the recon class. Now if you're a recon player that likes to be kind of that aggressive style bolt action sniper rifle you're already playing up close and personal but if you're not good with that kind of style and you want something to kind of be able to run around with with the recon class and, and you've been disappointed with it kind of lately because you, you're not really a good player with those bolt actions up close the P08 carbine is definitely the weapon to try out for you now I'm gonna go ahead and say now and I'll talk about it a little bit throughout the video as a whole this is not the best weapon in game by any means it is a lot of fun it does have some uh, definitely some downfalls to it not extremely great at range especially if people are already shooting at you but up close it is a very good performing weapon and I do mean up close I'm talking like 10 meters or less um, it is a weapon that's not great at hip fire you can use some of the specializations within the uh, weapon setup to make the hip fire a bit better I prefer to use it uh, kind of to my advantage of making it even more kind of faster while moving down you know aim down sights faster while moving in general better on you know kind of standing still the thing is kind of a laser anyway uh, I prefer really you should probably use a sight with it these iron sights that I'm running around with it's not the best way to do it there's a lot of good sight options the sight options are a lot better than the iron sights but when you have all of those ability to kind of move faster while ADS and you know all those things that make your accuracy a little bit better uh, I think that performs better overall than the hip fire bonus you can get with these specializations the guns hip fire is pretty much abysmal you're going to get beat most of the time from the hip if you're trying to hip fire with this weapon it's, it needs a little bit of a hip fire increase in my opinion because there's way too many things that can beat it from the hip uh, like I said it is a very good weapon at close range 10 meters or closest it has an extremely fast time to kill and it is a weapon I, I think that if you're a person that goes for headshots I usually always try to aim for the head no matter what shooter I'm playing I mean I always work out that way but if you can hit headshots with this gun, especially at close range, you're going to do very well. You're going to kill people extremely quickly. Now, you can, like I said, you can be a more aggressive style recon with this. I still don't see you just absolutely annihilating everybody. You can do extremely well, but you can also have some struggles with this gun, especially like with submachine guns. You're, you're, if you're competing against a lot of medics up close, it is hard to consistently beat them if they are paying attention to you. But if you kind of pair this with the flare and the recon beacon, you can stay aggressive with your team, have that flare out for your team, and have that beacon out for your team to be able to respawn back close to where you want to be. And that's what makes this a fun class to use. Because yes, you can do some damage with this weapon. You can do some crazy things and wipe several people out at once. But also, it is good for kind of a support style up in your face close quarters recon class anyway guys leave me a comment let me know what you think about the po8 carbine and of course if you liked it hit the like if you haven't subscribed yet please do so and i'll catch you guys next time peace